Okay, so because things are different, right, and because we are in a position where uh, we're taking things online uh, for this, right, so for the first month or so, here's how things are gonna work, right? So each week, right, all the readings that you have to do in each week are listed at the end of the syllabus, right? They're posted there. I also post uh, weekly, like, announcements of things that you, like, have to do, like, hey, keep in mind that. So if you're ever, like, wondering, like, hey, what do I need to do in a certain week, uh, whatever, one, always look at the course schedule at the end of the syllabus. And two, like, keep an eye out for, uh, like, my reminders, right? Um, again, I'm going to urge you to not rely on the group me because I think like what ends up happening is like people think the group me knows, but they don't, right? The only, the, use the documents and resources I've provided to help you, um, and you know, like, or me, right? Cause you know, honestly, I'm going to know best, right? And again, I understand that I can be direct with people and some people don't like direct communication. That's who I am, and it's no, it's no, nothing's ever a reflection on you. It's a reflection on just being direct, getting you the information that you need, and I don't think anything of it, so keep that in mind. So for this class, right, so for this first part, it is online. I have a series of videos that are created to facilitate learning. So we uh, are going to be asynchronous. There is no synchronous uh, Zoom classes. Um, so, you know, the content's already been buried, so you are responsible for watching those videos that I post. You're also responsible for the readings that are posted as well. Um, something, because this is an introductory class and people haven't necessarily haven't been in college or haven't been in college that long, you should know that the expectation for me, uh, for any of my classes and most of like higher education classes is that you are expected to read the content before watching any kind of videos or attending any lecture. Um, you know, it's really, college is not set up for you to read at the last possible minute or right before like a quiz or exam or something like that. Um, if you're doing that, it is not a long-term recipe for success. You're expected to read beforehand and you should allocate the time to do that. I understand that, you know, you have reading for a lot of classes. It's not necessarily fun um, and it's a kind of a drag, um, but that is, that's kind of what you have to do to survive. And the thing is, right, you know, if you want to make it, it's something that you have to do and simply changing your habit that way, um, is going to be like that. Uh, on the Canvas website, uh, I do have an example of a study schedule that may be useful to you. And I also have like in the syllabus, a, lo a lot of strategies for you to have better note taking. Big problem. Um, so I oftentimes when I teach in this intro class, uh, students will often say like, I didn't take any notes or I didn't take any notes on the readings or any of your videos. Or, like maybe I watched them, but I didn't take any notes, right? Or I skimmed, no notes. Um, not a great strategy. And it also puts you to a point where you're constantly feel behind because then once a deadline comes up, then you're behind because you haven't read and then you haven't you don't have any notes to refer back to and everything's starting from scratch and then it creates like this kind of pressure environment. I'm really gonna urge you to be diligent about taking notes on videos um, and um, and being in person, right? Or in your readings, right? Again, you should read before watching any videos and before coming to class once classes start back in person again. Um, that is honestly gonna be a long-term fit for you that's going to be you know better for you in the long run highly highly encourage you to do that um, if you aren't doing that um, I think you're going to end up struggling a lot so let's be proactive with our education let's be proactive in making things happen let's be proactive in uh, trying to you know get ahead and just like get through this class right it's not a hard class but it's going to be extremely difficult if you keep putting it off right so especially since this class is required to get into the main major, you know, you need a, a letter grade of a, a C or better to pass, don't mail it in. Don't mail it in. So um, with that, we'll, we'll pause this video, then continue the next one.